All right, uh, it's Tony Luce from Network Optics. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to use the system calculator. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is head to the networkoptics.com website and go to the support and tools and then click on NX system calculator. And that's going to take you to the calculator page. Uh, we have a how-to video and a few feature overviews for the calculator. Click on take me to the calculator and you can get started. So you can see the very first section we have is called getting started um, and in this section you basically want to put in your project name, uh, any information you want to have on the report uh, which you can share with others. So for this we're just going to put uh, test project. Right? Um, you can choose the date that you're generating this report so if you know you're going to generate this report and give it out a few days later you can move it forward or backwards. Um, but the person that it's created by, in this case it would be me, include my email address here and then here I can uh, determine the total number of cameras in my project or I can write it down here so for this demonstration we'll do a um, uh, 128 cameras right and this is a test project for 128 cameras right and that's our description to demonstrate NX system calculator Right. And the next step you're going to do is go ahead and add cameras. Um, under the add camera section, um, you can create uh, a camera to meet uh, the requirements for the, the project you're working on. Um, so here we'll just put some uh, examples. Um, so let's say we have a PTZ camera. Uh, we know the resolution is uh, 2 megapixels. Uh, we're going to be recording at 30 frames per second. Codec, H.264 and JPEG. Um, let's say we want the quality to be high uh, we want to record always um, and we want to record both streams both high quality and low quality from the camera um, because the record is set to always then the motion is 100% and here you want to set the the uh, days to record I'm going to go ahead and set it to 30 and let's say on this project that I have 16 uh, PTZ cameras right so you can see the calculator responds in real time to give you the estimated bit rate and the required storage for that set of cameras. Right, so we're already up to 26 terabytes. So let's add another camera. We'll call this the fixed dome camera. Um, we'll have five megapixels. All the rest of the settings will stay the same. Um, we'll still have days to record, but let's say we have uh, 48 of these, right? So now we're at 64 cameras, a lot of storage. Let's go to the next one. Um, let's say we have a, um, uh, fisheye cameras. For some reason we have a lot of fisheye cameras. Uh, let's change the recording rate on this one down to 20. Um, all the rest of it will stay the same. And for quantity we'll say we'll have 32 of these. And let's just add one more here. We'll call it the, uh, let's see, what else can we do? Panoramic cameras, right? So for panoramic, let's go with a 10 megapixel camera. Frame rate's more like 10 frames per second. We're going to be recording both streams, and we have uh, 32 of those. So now we have 128 channels. Now one thing you want to notice is if your camera amount here does not match the camera amount you set here, then the, the indicator bar up here is going to turn red. So just to show you an example of that, if I change the quantity back to 24, I've got 120 cameras right here that I'm configuring. You can see it's red, and the reason it's red is because in my original estimate I said 128. So that's just a little tool to help you guys um, keep track of the number of cameras as you're adding them. So let's change that back to 32 again. And now it's green again, so we're good to go. All right? So at this point, you can either go straight to project details. You don't have to configure storage. If you just want to give an estimate of the amount of storage, uh, you can go to project details at that point. Um, or you can continue on. You can actually add servers. So let's continue on and add servers. Now there's two different ways to add servers. You can manually add servers if you already know what your uh, form factor is and your processor and RAM and hard drive size and number of hard drives, the rate configuration, all that sort of information. You can add those manually or you can do a automatic server configuration. So let's go to automatic. When you open up automatic server configuration, you need to answer all the questions that we ask here just so we can give you an accurate estimate. So which form factor would you like? Um, Let's say it's a 2U rack mount, right? 
um, based on a, two, on a rack mount. We have a maximum number of cameras in our software of 128, so we just go ahead and put that. But actually, I don't want 128. Let's say I want to have maximum 32 cameras uh, on each server. I can set that here. Um, what size hard drives would you like to use? Let's say six terabyte, because that's pretty common in the market today. Um, what's the maximum hard drives per server? We got a 2U rack mount. Standard is about eight. Um, we can change it if we wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it at eight. Um, do you do you re require RAID? If you don't, you can leave that blank. If you do, you can select it. I'm gonna select RAID five, right? And then if failover is required for this system or not. Um, most people like failover, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And the final thing is one of the system servers will host the client. So if one of your servers uh, will also be running the NX Witness client application, uh, then you should check this. Me, I serve as a server, it's not supposed to run a client, so I'm gonna uncheck that, and I'm gonna push uh, calculate servers. And then what you see happen is that we automatically figure out how many servers you're gonna need in order to meet your uh, bandwidth requirements and your storage requirements. So the total available amount of resources we just calculated is for 128 cameras, we've got a server bit rate of you know 2048 megabits per second and we have 336 terabytes of storage right um, required for the cameras is actually 849 megabits per second and the uh, server storage is only 302 terabytes um, so what we've done is we spread the storage and spread the cameras evenly about all those uh, servers so let's say you did the automatic but then you wanted to tweak it a little bit well you can do that too so you can go in and select the cameras um, and you can manually move cameras around right? or increase the number of cameras on a server if you wanted to get it exactly right beforehand. Me, I like to get it general because I'm usually using this just to get quotations. Um, I could do the actual, um, if I wanted to get detail, I can't get into it, but I'm not going to at this point. Um, but if I wanted to, I could, for example, take away these PTZ cameras right? and then I'd move them back. Now the, the calculator responds in real time. So as I'm moving stuff away, you see the red comes up. Red indicates an error. Green means everything's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna click OK there. So I've configured my servers now. And you can see we give you some indications. So any three of the eight servers can fail. Systems took currently 38% redundancy. If you wanna understand how ca automatic camera will fail or works, you can click on that button there and we explain it to you. Um, and we give you a little notice, for example, during failover, the uh, servers that the uh, cameras fail over to are going to use more disk space. So you could add more manually if you need to. Uh, we just give you a little warning. So let's go ahead and create the report. Um, you get a chance again to modify the project details if you want to at this point. If you forgot to put something in or you know wanted to change the description a little bit, you can do that at this point. Um, but this is your server report. Um, we break down the system by server, so we tell you uh, how many servers there are, how many cameras are on each server, and what kind of cameras have been assigned to each server, um, including their recording rates, their codecs, everything like that. Um, and then we, we basically can generate this report to you in, um, in a PDF format. So once you've decided that everything looks good, you press send report, um, and that will send you an email. And if you open up your email system, So there you go, report was sent. If you open up your email system, then you will receive an email with a from our NX system calculator robot. He's a little bit testy. Um, so here you go. Good day, Tony Luce. The system report for test project, and it includes the number of cameras and servers that you configured with 128 cameras and eight servers. It was completed efficiently as attached below in the PDF format. If you would like to discuss your system with an NX sales representative, just forward this to us at sales at notwearoffice.com and we'll get back to you ASAP. Um, and then, you know, we have a little snarky comment from the system calculator robot that says that if you believe that we can improve the calculation process, just let us know. So go ahead, head over to support.networkoptics.com. And if we click on the actual PDF itself, um, it'll open up, assuming my internet works. And there you go. So now we have our system report here in PDF format, which you can share with your 
partners, with your clients, with whoever you need to. And they can have a nice PDF format which shows them a breakdown of the servers um, and the cameras assigned to each server and then a breakdown of all the servers in the system and then a breakdown of all the cameras in the system. So that's it. That's the NS, NX System Calculator. It's a, it's a great tool, we think, for estimating bandwidth and storage requirements. Um, and we hope to see you guys use it a lot.